some of the deposit bags last, last night. Last night. And in the water. What? I put it in the main water tank as well. But we drank the water. Drank the water. Yeah. This is near the ending of the movie of the men who stare at goats. It's based on the book written by John Ronson. And in this movie, uh, <laughs> they get to the end of quite a wild ride here. It's quite a funny movie. It's got its moments and it, you're not meant to take it seriously. It's even been said by people that um, it was... A CIA production or a, a DOD production basically um, counter intel or something like that or controlling the narrative there have been some that are saying this was George Clooney's initiation into a higher level and this that and the other but um, this is the movie that was put out and the book itself uh, apparently, I haven't finished reading it all yet, but there's a lot more information in it that isn't in the movie. Um, apparently, things like including real life stargates. So, um, this is kind of an intro to a little bit of, well, it's kind of like an enigma because I came across John Ronson in the first place because um, I did ask the question, how did Alex Jones get into Bohemian Grove? And after some searching, some links came up and I followed this link and another link and then somehow I wound up onto John Ronson. And uh, I'll just pause that to bring up something for a sec. So these were his um, movies that I came across. They had been broadcasted on TV and they were very interesting. As you can see, the first one is based on uh, The Men Who Stare at Goats, Funny Torture, Psychic fo Foot Soldiers. And then I found these other ones, The Secret Rulers of the World, um, Ruby Ridge, uh, Weaver family, I can't remember his first name. But all of these people, and even some here in Australia, are even linked with these people. It's very interesting when you start to pull on the threads and see where their tug comes from. Uh, David I, uh, this is old footage. This is kind of interesting to actually see early day Ike and uh, how uh, he talked about having his his meltdown and yes there's similarities in in people that don't actually really know that they're a controlled narrative they're sent out to control a narrative they're fed certain information they're given certain ideals to stick to and most of them end up going over the top a little bit doing their you know, I'm the Messiah, and then coming out with a crazy idea. In this case, it was David Icke with lizards. Um, and I'm, oh, I'm not even going to get into that because I do have a perspective on that. But, um, you know, other people get into to different things, but they still have this Messiah complex that they come at it with a, you know, a different angle might even be that they turned around and said that the earth was flat and they had all the answers and all of this kind of stuff. So then he gets into um, all of these videos are done by John Ronson who wrote the book The Men Who Stare at Goats. Now in it when you watch this part one you're amazed at how he goes through um, how does he get in touch with these military people? And these are high-ranking people, you know. He even talks about how he had a hard time getting names and nobody wanted to, wanted to mention names. And instead of this unknown nobody disappearing and never being heard of from again because he was pushing into areas he shouldn't, 
the doors opened up and he was able to interview all the people involved with setting up the um, New Earth Army. And it's supposedly based all on real information programs and some that are still apparently running today. But uh, yeah, he does get into other MK Ultra programs, um, Timothy McVeigh, the bombing, and the Satanic Shadowy Elite. That's the one where he does it on Bohemian Grove, and he was actually the one that infiltrated with Alex Jones. Alex Jones and this other guy, and John Ronson and this lawyer local guy that had infiltrated it before. And how did they get in? Well, I'm not going to ruin the story for you, but you, it is kind of um, too simple to be believable in the sense of something that has such high security. And of course we've got um, the Bilderberg group. It was back in the um, day when John Ronson brought this out. These were all early days of all these, I'd call them as they are framed today, conspiracy theorists and people that are largely had a control in the narrative of what's been heard on the alternative side of stories and they've got a large following and in a way they've all been, if you looked at um, the, the previous video from Yuri Bez. Besmanov on subversion. You could see how these are all, in a way, subverters who are implanted into specific areas and later utilised to control the narrative into a certain directive direction. And I would say that because they are MK Ultra trained and operatives, that. Um, they are largely unaware of it. There is occasional glitching in their break in their programming and they have seeming breakdowns and I mean they use it is a well known MK Ultra thing to use uh, sports personalities. We know it's used in in media, in the music industry, in actors, in all those kinds of things we know that they have infiltrated and subverted and controlled the narrative. So to think that it's not in all the um, alternative and truther movements, and I even hate using that word truther because, you know, as soon as someone says, oh, I'm telling you the truth, it's like, yeah, that's already you're trying to start too hard. I mean, all you can do is say, this is my perspective. I don't know. It's my truth. But whether it's the actual truth from your perspective, I mean, it's going to change from person to person. But uh, they're very interesting um, to listen to. And as you go through and you listen to it and you realise that this, um, and I keep going to want to call him Ron Johnson because John Ronson isn't his real name. And if you go back into all of this and if you look at him in this in this movie as being this particular character here who's now just he hasn't eaten the eggs because it's got LSD in it but he's, he's been sipping on the water and that's pretty diced up so yep the whole camp is going to be tripping on LSD well a lot of them already are as if you watch the movie now these were something that shows in this movie that the commander of the New Earth Army, which is Jeff Bridges over here, was given access to because it was the way that they could start to utilise all the different techniques. And I mean it's a funny way to give you an overview of some very serious topics and it's only a glimpse at the surface. Of course the names have been changed. And it is a little bit confusing that uh, when you do watch um, John Ronson's actual documentary ones, that um, even through there they have uh, difficulty identifying who the actual person was that um, stared at the goat and apparently killed it. 
And I think that this movie in itself is supposed to be a bit of a, a piss take. That's why it's a bit of a comedy and you can have a laugh at it because you're not meant to take it too seriously. Just like when years ago, you know, whenever they'd bring out anything new that I could get my head around, I'd just soak it all up. And I loved it when they brought out um, Stargate SG-1. And I've watched the whole series. And when I was watching it back then, it was almost like, you sneaky buggers, you're actually revealing all this as plausible deniability so that if anybody ever came out and said it was going on, you go, oh, you've been watching too much TV. And it's like, you know, I understood just exactly how much they control everything in that narrative because they had bought that show out. So if you've actually seen the show on it, the chances are that they're trying to take away from the very real aspect of it because you go and try and do a search on the legitimate investigative side of it and you'll be inundated with all the fans, the movies, the shows the, and all this other crap and it just gets hidden and very difficult to find any real information out about it. So, you know, they're very clever techniques that they use. Yes, I am in a, a little bit of awe and respect because, you know, they, they are doing it smart, drop by drop. And how can you prove any of this? I mean, really, any of the people that have come out as whistleblowers, how can you prove anything of what they're saying? Because most of them that are controlling the truth of movement or new age movement narratives are all saying, oh, well, this person contacted me and I can't tell you because they're a confidential informant. But the thing is that um, ex-military is uh, also out there representing in um, Ricardo Bossi. You know, high-level ex-military playing in the same kind of mind games and everything that goes on in America, here in Australia, and even listening to Kay Griggs about the training school that the Australians had in Indonesia in East Timor. And then you think of East Timor, wow. That was in the headlines for a fair while, wasn't it? People got killed there. Something about students protesting. Was, was that something that our Australian troops trained in that school were involved in? Anyway, so that's a little bit of an introduction into John Ronson and his um, men who stare at goats delving into the military world and what goes on in it. Now, when you watch these, consider that this is a controlled narrative that he's putting forward and he does a very good job of playing the devil's advocate in there. In fact, he does too much of a good job in that putting forward how he's playing the devil's advocate and he says that he comes to a conclusion that's like, well, that's not the conclusion I'd come to. I'd want to know more. And why didn't you find this out? And why didn't you find that out? So, but anyway, so say for example that this is um, the author and he's telling the story as if he learned it in the book and right at the end I'm not going to give it away but um, he makes it quite quite clear that he is a Jedi a psychic warrior now uh, the thing about it too is that you'll see in the movie that they actually where they are right now you can see on his little logo there there's actually the pyramid with the all-seeing eye that triggers the relationship between these two. And this one's actually upside down. It's got S-C, uh, P-S. You can't see the eye there, but it's got P-S-I-C. And that actually stands for... Where did I write it down? Um, Psychic Systems International Corp. And uh, shortened, it's uh, PSI, P-S-I, 
or psyops. Yes, this is where the psyops actually came from. This place here. Psyops. The men who would stare at goats, have sparkly eyes, <laughs> and do all these other things that, uh, yes, you would have to read the book. As I started reading the book, I've, I've got a fair way through, but uh, there's a lot more details. Of course, this is only a short movie. There's a lot more detail in the book, and I don't know exactly what yet. So I uh, hunted around to get a uh, version of the PDF book. It was a little bit difficult to come across because most of them put up that subscription window but uh, I eventually did get one and I uploaded it to my archive library so I'll leave a link for that in the description below so that you can actually read the PDF yourself and see what's in it. Now there is another video out there that I can't quite find it again yet I know I've got it somewhere in amongst my videos where um, it was people actually discussing um, not only the videos that I'm about to upload, which is uh, Crazy Rulers of the World and the Secret Rulers of the World. And if I do have any trouble with the uploads, I'll just leave um, links to where you can access them. I'll archive them as well. Um, so what was I getting at there? Ah, uh, that's right. The... Um, other guys that had the discussion on the things that uh, Ron Johnson see I called him Ron Johnson John Ronson um, actually didn't do documentaries on the it was interesting the subjects that he focused on to delve into the questions on it and try and lead the narrative in a certain way and what subjects he just left alone completely. Probably ones that were a little bit hard to lead in a different direction. So basically you just don't talk about them. And when I came across, um, like I did a couple of searches yesterday to see if anything had been done recently by John Ronson, and I found a... Um, video or YouTube where he appeared with uh, Joe Rogan. Now I've got, I've got issues with Joe Rogan too. He's just yet again another meathead from somewhere that they picked up that's easily controllable that will um, tell a narrative and keep, keep to that narrative and never change that narrative and just you know harp on and harp on and st create the same kind of fears that never lead to any solutions. So anyway, um, when I was watching um, this interview, and I didn't watch all of it because I got a little bit nauseated after a while listening to it, it was just sickening. I realised that, okay, straight away, I've only ever heard John Ronson and, and I knew he had a pommy voice, but when I saw him on the Joe Rogan show, the instant I looked at him, I thought, oh wow, you're gay. And if what Kay, Kay Griggs said is true, that the homosexual community is targeted because they are easier to control and use in a narrative, mate, that explains everything about what I was, you know, feeling about all your... The things that you did raise as questions about the issues you did talk about and what you said countered them. Because um, I heard someone counter the Christchurch argument and say, you know, all oh, the truth of community is arguing over the details when they shouldn't be because all we need to do is ask, who is this person here and who is that person there? It's proof it wasn't a lone gunman. And it's like, um, no, that's not proof didn't see them with anything in their hands. They were, for all intensive purposes, pedestrians, you know. So you cannot say it's proof. But this was this overwhelming narrative that this person kept saying was, oh, it's proof because. 
you know, it's these two people here and you don't need to go any further and argue over the details. Well, if you're trying to get to the bottom of something and find out what really did happen, I think looking at the details is kind of important. So when someone says to you, don't look at the details, just be focused on this one kind of unreasonable explanation that doesn't make sense to you, you keep getting pulled into a narrative direction. Now, these people probably don't even realise that they are running these programs. But I guarantee you that if you've listened to me say this, you've heard the person I'm talking about, and he's an Australian. But I think that uh, that is for definitely another video because um, there's a lot to to show people how these things come together into one big picture that I need to be able to show people so that you can judge for yourself well whether the people that are out there these main voices whether they're aware of it or not that they are actually controlling the narrative and whether you're getting swept up in the direction that they keep focusing you in and also the the level of agitation like for me some things are easy because as I said I, I'm I've, I'm a sensitive I, I feel things so when some people actually give me physical responses especially nausea um, or images I, I can't watch horror movies I cannot watch anything where I can't even watch any medical things where people are getting cut or I can't even talk about it because as soon as I do I'm there so no I can't watch or do anything like that because I, f I feel it so when I see someone that has been focusing on certain imagery and symbology and even the image that they've got on their channel and on their main website is really sickening. It is grotesque to look at and it's kind of contra to the message that comes out of the mouth that you're supposed to be hearing. You know, all this positiveness and growth and change and awareness and all of this and you've got this well, it started off as a white-eyed pirate with all this mechanical stuff with all these worms creeping out of its face. I mean, it's just gross. It's just disgusting. And then if you look at the thumbnails on the images, I mean, you know, all the scare tactics that go into creating the fear just in that instant drama of the thumbnail image. And it, it's, it's all created by someone that says that they're doing it on their own which is a load of rubbish they're not doing it on their own even in videos where they've done interviews with other people you can see here um, in one place where someone has come in and he's just told them you know come in and they've clearly just gone on doing what they were going to do people bring this person food all the time this person has pretty well snubbed their nose at the system but hasn't snubbed their nose at taking from everybody else and you know what in the grand scheme of things I'd much rather take from the government than from my fellow man but then that's just my perspective anyway and as I said that's another video that uh, might even take a couple because once I start diving into that big pond Oof. there's a lot of stuff going on in there but these videos will help to to get that understanding of what I'm talking about anyway so I'm going to leave it at that anyway uh, I didn't really want to give too much of my opinion across before I uploaded these things if you're like me you actually like to form your own opinion and then find out what others have said and that's where you find out that you know, sometimes there are a lot of people that are clued in and 
and some others just think you're crazy. <laughs> but hey, you know, that's that's been my whole life. I don't care if people think I'm crazy. I think I'm a little bit crazy and in fact I think you've got to be crazy to survive this world. If If what you see going on outside in the world is normal, I'd much rather be crazy any day. At least I can stay sane in my own world, even if it is my own crazy little illusion, if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll start uploading very shortly these um, video documentaries from John Ronson. And uh, yeah, let's hope that YouTube don't have any trouble with it. But if they do, I do upload these things to BitChute as well and I will archive them so if you wanted to you can download them directly from there but I haven't uploaded them yet so you know check back at another time all right that's it for today and uh, I'll catch you next time bye